comments on the Jesuits from various sources. And we, in our time, looking backward at the Christian historical record of 1900 years, in all its phases and changes, at all its evolutions and reformations, at its crusades and inquisitions, at the light it claims to have brought into the world, and the dark ages that it produced in the world, its sham civilization and its real persecutions, at the rivers of innocent blood that it spilt, and at the burning fires auto the eight phase which it kindled, at its canonized saints, who, before the world, stand condemned as the most wicked sinners, at its inquisitors, whose god was Moloch, whose creed was murder and whose principle was mammon, at its Jesuits, who, as their name implies, are followers of Jesus, to love their enemies' soul so well, and therefore to send them to heaven as soon as possible, and to love everything belonging to their enemies, and therefore to take possession of it, and keep it in trust. Forever who dare call this murder and robbery, since they claim to have a license for it from their God Jesus and their patron Saint Loyola. At its younger brothers, the Antisemites, that Satan must have held the high carnival to celebrate his great achievement at the Rent Trial, where his imps proved themselves the greatest perjurers of the present age. At its lying missionaries, who, as children of the Father of Lies, are trying their utmost to create strife, contention, scandal, slander, and even the shedding of blood, and all other plagues which this Pandora box brought into God's fair world, I say that these records are unshaken testimony that these Christians at least are the true offspring of the zealots described by Josephus. E. Walter from New Discoveries in the Origin of Christiana The Identity of the Disciples I do not like the reappearance of the Jesuits shall we not have regular swarms of them here in as many disguises as only a king of the gypsies can assume, dressed as printers, publishers, writers and schoolmasters. If ever there was a body of men who merited eternal damnation on earth and in hell, it is this society of Loyola. Nevertheless, we are compelled by our system of religious toleration to offer them an asylum John Adams to Thomas Jefferson. Like you, I disapprove of the restoration of the Jesuits, for it means a step backward from light into darkness Thomas Jefferson to John Adams. 1. It will be of service to the Church of great consequence to carry the Gospel into those parts of the world, to help on the coming of the fullness of the Gentiles, and to raise a bulwark against the Kingdom of Antichrist which the Jesuit labored for to rear up in those parts. John Winthrop, founder of the Massachusetts Bay Colony Reasons for Emigrating to New England 1631 from Don't Know Much About History by Kenneth C. Davis, scalp-taking was a popular British tactic, and the British commander, General Edward Braddock, offered his Indian allies five pounds sterling for the scalp of a French soldier, one hundred pounds for that of a Jesuit missionary, and a grand prize of two hundred pounds for the hair of the powerful Delaware chieftain she and she asked. It is my opinion that if the liberties of this country the United States of America are destroyed, it will be by the subtlety of the Roman Catholic Jesuit priests, for they are the most crafty, dangerous enemies to civil and religious liberty. They have instigated most of the wars of Europe. The Marquis de Lafayette In the present case, we are determining upon the fate of a society classed among the mendicant orders, both by its institute and by its privileges, after a mature deliberation, we do, out of our certain knowledge, and the fullness of our apostolical power, suppress and abolish the said company. We deprive it of all activity whatever, of its houses, schools, colleges, hospitals, lands, and, in short, every other place whatsoever, in whatever kingdom or province they may be situated, we abrogate it and annul its statutes, rules, customs, decrees, and constitutions, even though confirmed by oath, and approved by the Holy See or otherwise, in like manner we annul all and every its privileges, indulgence, general or particular, the tenor whereat is, and is taken to be, as fully and as amply expressed in the present brief as if the same were inserted word for word, in whatever clauses, form, or decree, or under whatever sanction their privileges may have been conceived. We declare all, and all kind of authority, the general, the provincials, the visitors, and other superiors of the said society to be forever annulled and extinguished, of what nature soever the said authority may be as well in things spiritual as temporal. Pope Clement XIV, Dominus Hack, the Redemptor Noster, 